On the 11th of November 2011, Bethesda released The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and it quickly became one of the most beloved games of all time. Now, 10 years later, we are here to celebrate the legacy of Skyrim. In the past 10 years, this game has been re-released and experienced on multiple consoles, including the PS3, Xbox 360, the PC, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, and even on your mobile phone. But there are even more ways to experience the world of Skyrim, and that's what we're here to do in this video. The first thing me and my brothers decided to do was to play The Elder Scrolls Call to Arms, which is a tabletop battle game set in the world of Tamriel. This is Modifius' Skyrim Call to Arms, a miniature tabletop battle game where you can collect the many varying characters and creatures in the world of Skyrim and pit them against each other, or in this particular case, help each other out. This is a game for one to four players. As you can see, there are three of us playing as the Dragonborn, Ezerald, and Raeloth. We are in this scenario holding the line against the undead scourge of the dungeons, Draugr and skeletons alike, as we must close the gates, and with each time we do that, we earn victory points. We had to get 10 victory points to win, and luckily, we did. If bringing Skyrim into the real world isn't enough, you can actually enter the world of Skyrim through VR. We did this with the PlayStation VR system. And uh, for me personally, it was my first time entering this world. Oh, you just... No. Yeah, hold the trigger. Hold the trigger? <gasps> That's amazing! How do you know that place? Hey, it's mine. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. <laughs> Dude, you said even more hilarious to be on. Holy fuck, get rid of me! It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passion of late. Me? I prefer my now you're over and my spells. Oh, man. It's okay. It's actually much easier to move like this. <laughs> to really mark the festivities of 10 years of Skyrim, we decided to use the Elder Scrolls official cookbook to cook ourselves a three-course meal right from the world of Skyrim. For the first course, the brothers enjoyed Bosma Bites, made famous by the Wood Elves of Tamriel. Adam sliced the apples, prepared it with brie cheese. He then wrapped with the ham and dished up. Dished up in servings of four, Adam also prepared a homemade balsamic dip. that was left was to find out how did it taste mm, I, I think uh, I think that went really well I think everyone really enjoyed it especially Chris for the main course the brothers decided to have orsimer venison an orcish dish as Adam prepares the beef as our substitute to venison for this meal, he adds the seasoning and spices and dishes up. With plenty of spice and flavor, this dish went down well with all three brothers. Finally, for the dessert, the nicest treat in all of Tamriel, 
sweet rolls. Adam prepares the mix, places in the baking tray, and when they come out of the oven, they are ready for their cream. There's no treat or delicacy as nice in all of Tamriel. Compliments to the chef. Finally, we decided to have a toast to Skyrim. Mentioning Skyrim on our podcast is much like a drinking game with how much we mention it, and so we decided that we should drink to it with skooma, which we also found in the available cookbook. This drink had to be prepared and left to ferment for over two weeks. And, well, let's see how it went down. Here's to 10 years of Skyrim. Wow. <laughs> Skooma's nice. Skooma is nice. It's why it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. And let us know how you decided to celebrate 10 years of Skyrim.